Hello everybody, welcome back to Blackjack, and welcome to the show. That's the name of today's Pokemon Evolutions episode, or rather, uh, last Friday's Pokemon Evolutions episode. I have here... Lugia. And... Plushy Girardon, because why not? <laughs> if you look down below, I have him, as well as Golden Boy's Lugia. Giving a thumbs up. It has those big floppy wings, and we still don't know why it has fingers. Let's start, shall we? Ah, I like Tyranitar. It's goofy looking as all get out, but I like Tyranitar. Oh, wait. I just remembered I forgot to do something. There we go. I had to set the audio down. <laughs> I always forget that. Oh, that's neat. Meowth on two legs! Remember when that was special? I think I have that card. There's a card very much like it, anyway. <laughs> Five minutes! I'm loving the style here. Ah, Oh, that's darling. <laughs> of course you gotta have the monk with the bell sprout. Aw, oh, Morty! <laughs> okay, from the distance shot, there's hardly any Pokemon visible. City built two towers. I love how the columns Nine look like they're rotating. Each, reaching high up into the sky. The bell tower. And the brass tower. That is so cool. The towers attracted two. I'd love to see a show like Pokemon this in real life. Ho oh, oh, Guardian of the Skies. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Lugia, guardian of the seas. Cool. <laughs> I like how it's getting into the special effects and stuff. Rested atop the bell tower, but the brass tower was the really makes it legendary Lugia. Really makes it feel more like an actual show instead of just an animation, you know. The Pokemon and a harmonious friendship grew between them. <laughs> Until one fateful night, 150 years ago, as the tower was, was bathed in moonlight. I don't know why. You gotta have moonlight. And Lugia's peaceful rest was disturbed by the tumult of a lightning storm. There we go. I wonder if a play like this would the have like grew, a shield up. The sky filled with lightning. <laughs> the started city sparking. shook with the sound of thunder until a tremendous thunderbolt came down and struck the tower. Well, shit, I'm out of here. Setting the lofty spire ablaze. Until it became a mighty inferno. Dang. <laughs> Aww. Then Lugia flapped its wings and summoned a powerful wind to extinguish the Well, you have a fire. very responsible and caring the Totodile there, sir. threatened to spread to the rest of the city. So Lugia called for rain, 
and the skies above Ecritik City answered. The rain battled with the fire, fighting back the flames until the fire was vanquished. Oh, that's me, babe. There wasn't really much that ho -Oh could do. It is a fire type. Aww. And Lukia, despite being guardian of the sea, is not a water type. A dreadful night. A new day dawned with the morning sun. Oh, that's nice. Overcome by the destruction the fire had wrought, Lugia fled. It can start a storm, but it can't death, end one. Awaiting the call of someone pure of heart before it can return to Ecritique City. Oh, my heart's pure. Pure obsession does not count. To this day, the ruins of the burned tower remain as a reminder I like the, of what was lost. They all have different Pokeballs and in their hair. Again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, Totodile's happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what people mean about this one, though. Uh, someone was saying that it felt more like it was about Luvia and then Hoa was just kind of there. <laughs> but then again, Luvia is the far more popular of the two. I mean, Hoa wouldn't get a movie for almost two decades. Okay. Uh, I've heard of Laura Post. Wasn't she in one of the previous ones? Um, Alex Lee was um, Leon. Shall we look the... Uh, sh shall we look them all up? I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's see. what. Where's the first name? Heather Gonzalez. Uh, how do you spell that? Okay, easy. Heather Gonzalez. Pardon me. Okay, uh, oh goodness, she has a nice big website here. Hmm. But I don't see really where... Okay, you can play demos, but you can't look at her bio. A voiceover resume is in a PDF. So I will have to go to another site. Okay, I'll go to Behind the Voice Actors. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so she's Zuki. She seems to be the Umbreon sister. Uh, she's Minoto in Monster Hunter Rise. She's Elincia in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, she was in Twilight Wings. She has additional voices in it. I'll, I'll just stick on behind the voice actors. Okay, so uh, Heather Gonzalez is the, um, the Umbreon sister. Zuki. Uh, Miki... Jenny Yokobori. Uh, all right. She oh, she's trending one sixty fifth this week. Yeah, she's yeah okay. She is the Flareon sister, Miki. Uh, she's Kuromi and Cinema Roll in Hello Kitty and Friends Super Cute Adventures. <laughs> she's. Yoi Mia in Genshin Impact. Uh, she's Elise in Fire Emblem Heroes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> She's comic book guy's wife on The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay Jackie Lastra let's check her out okay um Sayo um I can't tell what sister she is. I'm seeing just a very close up of her face. She's the I'm assuming I'm assuming uh electric. I'm assuming she's the Jolteon sister though. Okay, um She's Shang Ling in Genshin Impact. Uh oh, she's Serena in Pokemon Masters. That's always cool. Backwards cat platelet in cells at work. <laughs> uh. Uh, Io in Grand Blue Fantasy. Uh, Inna in Fire Emblem Heroes. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Laura Post. I remember seeing her before. Uh... Ooh, she's trending 35th this week. Oh, she's Atlo the Moogle in Chocobo GP, which is coming up. Nua in Shin Megami Tensei 5. Kuni, again, she's like turned away at a weird angle, so I can't see which sister she is. <laughs> can't tell. Uh, Queen Nehelenia in uh, Sailor Moon Eternal. Uh, Yuko and Lady in Black in Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. She's Sukuna in Sukuna of Rice and Ruin. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, she's Kasumi in Persona 5 Royal. That's neat. That's always cool to find out of. Oh, she was in Twilight Wings as Bezma Chop, Yamper, Melanie, and Opal. That's a heck of a range. How about that? <laughs> and she's Flannery and Cheryl in Masters. Oh, she's Ragyo in Kill the Kill. Interesting. <laughs> Everyone wants... Oh, she's Primrose in Octopath Traveler. Everyone in the death battle community wants Ragyo to fight Lusamine. Oh, well, now I want to see this show. It says there's disjointed 2017 TV show, Jasmine the Therapy Parrot. I... I... <laughs> Oh, but it seems there's like a lot of ads in it or something. I, I don't know. I just, I want to see about a therapy parrot. I want to see a therapy parrot. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, she's Harley Quinn in Batman the Enemy Within. Interesting. Oh, and in Pokemon Generation, she was Diantha. I know I've heard of Laura Post for, like, some really, really huge roles. Uh -huh. In Origins, she was Red's mom and Marowak. Oh! <laughs> in Final Fantasy XIV, she's uh, Moan Brita, and I only even guess how to, how to uh, pronounce that because of frickin'... Final Fantasy fourteen in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, uh, Naoko. Xanthe Huna? Uh, how, how do you spell that again? H-Y-U-H-U-Y-N-H. -H -H. People would not be able to spell my 
surname at all. My real surname. I mean, do you think Gabbiani is difficult? Okay, Naoko is the one that starts at all, the Umbreon one. With the, the heart on her. Okay, she's canon in Neo The World Ends With You. Uh, she's Pala Pala in Sailor Moon Eternal. Um, she's Sasaki in Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, oh, she's Haru in Persona 5. Pardon me, I am... Uh... Oh, she's Erica in Pokemon Masters. Interesting. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. I know it just got considerably darker. My lamp isn't working. Yeah, and, we, and like I said, we already know who Alex Lay is. Or Lee, or whatever. This is interesting, looking up, like, everyone else's roles and all that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I I'm sorry I can't bring it up. Um, for some reason, when I try to put in, uh, when I try to put in websites on, uh, in my XSplit, they never quite show correctly. This is some interesting music, especially for a credits reel. Super dramatic. Ah, there we go. <laughs> well, that was nice. All right. Well, thank you for joining me for the show. Oh my God. I wish I had glasses that didn't light up at the light, the slightest little thing. Anyway, uh, gosh, we only have, we only have one more episode. Golly. Okay. Well, I will see you then. Until next time, I'm Blackjack Aviani and, uh, I am merely a collector. <laughs>